Hello, welcome to Garden of Wisdom channel. I hope you enjoy. Please click subscribe for more updates. Our subject today is Understanding which of the six types of empaths you are can help you to make the most of your gift while still taking care of yourself. Empathy is the gift of being able to put yourselves in someone else's shoes and feel things as if you were them. However, there are several different types of empaths, each of which has a different set of empathetic abilities. The six main types of empaths are The Emotional Empath is one of the most common types of empaths. If you are this type, you will easily pick up the emotions of others around you and feel the effects of those emotions as if they were yours. The emotional empath will deeply experience the feelings of others in their own emotional body. For example, an emotional empath can become deeply sad around another individual who is experiencing sadness. For emotional empaths, it is important to learn to differentiate between your own emotions and those of others. In this way, you can use your ability to help others without becoming drained. Those with this type of empathy can pick up on the energy of other people's bodies. They intuitively know what ails another person. Many people with this type of empathy become healers either in the conventional medical professions or in alternative ones. Physical empaths may feel an awareness in their physical body when treating someone. They may also see blockages in a person's energy field that they sense need treating. If you are a medical empath, you may pick up on symptoms from others and feel them in your own body. Taking on the physical symptoms of others may lead to health problems. Some people with chronic illnesses such as fibromyalgia or autoimmune diseases might find it helps to strengthen their own energetic field so that they can turn this ability off when necessary. Taking some training in a form of healing can also help to hone this ability. Geomantic empathy is sometimes called place or environmental empathy. Those with this ability have a fine attunement to the physical landscape. If you find yourself uncomfortable, or really happy in certain environments or situations, for no apparent reason, you may be a geomantic empath. If you are a geomantic empath, you will feel a deep connection to certain places. You may be drawn to sacred stones, groves, churches or other places of sacred power. You may also be sensitive to the history of a place and be able to pick up on sadness, fear or joy that have occurred in locations. Place empaths are highly attuned to the natural world and grieve for any damage to it. They watch with horror when trees are cut down or landscapes destroyed. If you are this type of empath, you will probably need to spend time in nature to recharge. You may also find helping in an environmental project very healing for you. It is also important for you to make your everyday surroundings as harmonious and beautiful as you can. You may feel happier if you fill your house with plants and natural scents. You might also like to choose natural materials such as wood and linen for your clothing and furniture. If you are a plant empath, you intuitively sense what plants need. You will be green-fingered and have a true gift for placing the right plant in the right place in your garden or home. Many plant empaths choose to work in parks, gardens or wild landscapes where they can put their gifts to good use. In fact, if you have chosen an occupation that involves plants, then you are probably a plant empath. Some people with this gift actually receive guidance from trees or plants directly by hearing it within the mind. If you are this kind of empath, you will already know that you need a lot of contact with trees and plants. You might like to strengthen this bond by sitting quietly by a special tree or a plant and attuning more closely to its needs and guidance. Many empaths have a strong connection with animals. However, an animal empath will probably devote their lives to working for the care of our animal friends. Those with this gift will know what an animal needs and may be able to telepathically communicate with the creature. If you are an animal empath, you probably already spend as much time with animals as you can. You may find that studying the biology or psychology of animals helps you to refine your gift. 
You could also consider training as an animal healer as your special talent can enable you to find out what is wrong with an animal and treat it accordingly. If you are a claircognizant or intuitive empath, you will pick up information from other people simply by being around them. One glance at someone can give you all kinds of insight into that person. You will immediately know if someone is lying to you because you can sense the intentions behind their words. Those with this gift resonate to others' energetic fields and read the energy of others very easily. This is closely related to the telepathic empath who can read another person's thoughts. If you have this ability, you need to surround yourself with people who you feel aligned with. With this gift, you may need to strengthen your energetic field so that you are not constantly bombarded with the thoughts and emotions of others. Being an empath, is not easy. You may find it confusing, disorientating and exhausting. When overwhelmed, you must ground yourself often. However, understanding which of the types of empath you are can help you to use your gifts and abilities to help yourself and those around you. Please never be afraid or ashamed of being an empath. We bring harmony to the chaos around us. Blessings to all.